Good evening. Welcome to Strength the One's Lessons on Genshin Impact. Today or tonight, we are going to focus on Layla. And basically, when it comes to her abilities, and not just being a good shoulder, but also to help you out when it comes to fighting certain bosses, especially if you get her in the very beginning of the game. Now, why is she so important when it comes to fighting the Electro Hypostasis? Well, could be because of her application of cryo in different ways. Now, turn the volume up so you can actually hear me this time. Hopefully, it actually, you know, works out. All right, here we go. I'm actually just using the four star people. This will make it a little bit more interesting for myself. fun part. Using Layla's burst right at this moment, you can still take care of the prisons before it recovers. There you have it. So if you weren't able to use, well, build Layla, or even just get her at any time, um, in the very beginning you can use her burst to get rid of those prisons before the electrical hypostasis um, revives itself. Mind you, um, for some, you can build her in many different ways. Some people can use for, um, for, uh, what do you call it? Uh, How did I do that? That's the same thing. Um, you can use for, uh, what do you call it? Uh, Blizzard Strayer. There we go. Or what I did was basically to Rokasha's Glow and two Tenacity of the Melodifts, which is why her HP is at 41k. And I could care less about the uh, critical damage. But she's mostly here when it comes to both just as a shielder and also cryo application. So once you get her for yourself, she's going to be very beneficial to you when it comes to Electro Cube, okay? Alright. That concludes it for Alessa. I hope you have a, a wonderful evening. Bye bye.